Hey everybody, welcome to Honeycomb Manila. My name is K.O. Kosha, and I just wanted to take a quick moment to open up the mail. It's been a while since we've been able to post and it's because we've been really busy and you'll see why in the next coming weeks. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to open up a few of the things that came in the mail. If you do like our content on this page, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash Honeycomb Manila and we talk about sneakers, we talk about drinks, we talk about uh, arts and culture. We're going to do a little bit of all of that today. At least sneakers and drinks. Uh, mostly drinks. Mostly drinks. There's some coffee, but we're going to start off with some alcohol. And today, this is a pack that we got from the Bleeding Heart Rum Company. You guys know them mostly for Don Papa Rum. In fact, only for Don Papa Rum, <laughs> I would say. Uh, but it turns out that they've been working on this gin for five years years and it's been distilled in France using a vacuum, a vacuum distillation process and uh, I actually just went through it with them on a zoom call but I wanted to put everything back in the box and kind of just show you what's in the box so that you guys can kind of get the experience comes in this very nice you know at least they sent it to us in this very nice green leather hard case and you open it up inside right away you have the gin there's a shaker and uh, this, this enamel pin. And then uh, they even included a bar spoon. So this is the bar spoon uh, with their emblem here on top. And then here in the top section, they have a couple of other things. There's, a, there's kind of this menu. There's another pack with all the stuff here in this menu. I won't show it to you. Um, but also in the same sleeve where they, where they had that pack, they have this, the Sounds of Santa Ana, uh, record so it comes with a vinyl record and it's kind of all part of the storytelling of this being inspired by manila in the 20s while the whole world was well not the whole world but while the cocktail and, and spirits world were dealing with prohibition in america in the philippines uh everyone's just having a grand old time so this is kind of uh, inspired by that and specifically the santa ana cabaret which was a place in Santa Ana. Uh, most of us know Santa Ana because of the racetrack. Um, but yeah, so they, they made this CD together with, um, this one is uh, Juan Rates, Juan Rates. And on the other side, it's, yeah, Juan Rates. So it, it's, a, it's, you know, two tracks, you know, just uh, of some music that they put together inspired by the rum and, and the, the 20s, the roaring 20s, that Great Gatsby era, but here in Manila. So that's pretty cool. They also included on the back of the, of the record, you know, a link to their Spotify so that you can also listen to it on Spotify if you don't have a record player. And then inside it also comes with this great photography and some ideas of what they expect in the flavor profile, Ilang Ilang, Calamansi, Alpina and Dalandan, and then a couple of uh, recipes for drinks that you can make. And they actually included um, a martini glass in the box. That was pretty cool. Um, now inside here, they also had uh, the shaker. It says Santa Ana Gin on the shaker. It's gold and uh, it's the kind with the strainer built in. That's pretty dope. And then finally, of course, the gin itself, the star of the show, Santa Ana gin from the bleeding heart rum company i don't know if they're going to keep that name but uh this is this is very interesting now it is made in france but they are primarily running this product in the philippines only now don papa the rum brand has you know has a great presence globally especially in france i think france is their biggest market now um and the uk but you know they they got the stranger and stranger guys back to do the label and man this is a beautiful bottle and it is something unique and special uh retail for this will be uh, 1599 i believe um but you know how it works go to snr you might get it cheaper um all right so that is the santa Ana gin from the bleeding heart rum company thank you so much to them for sending this over and to uh joseph and the guys over at their at their agency they're always very nice to us all right so i'm gonna move this up here and we're going to jump right into some Jordans. Uh, yeah, so this is a pair of Jordans that I got in preparation for the opening of the Jordan store uh, in BGC, which is the first 
uh, Jordan store in Southeast Asia. And uh, I believe it's one of, of a, a very few freestanding Jordan stores. And it's something that uh, has kept me busy the last, the last uh, week or more. Uh, one of the reasons why we haven't been able to upload videos. And it's cool because it's actually a freestanding store. It's not part of a mall. It's not part of, of another building. It's just freestanding. It's pretty dope. Uh, you have the store in the bottom and then there's a, there's a half court on the roof deck. And pretty excited for you guys to see it. Um, and that's coming in the next like hours, honestly. Uh, but, you know, uh, I thought that I'd open this up and show you guys what I plan to be wearing to the opening of that store. And this is the Jordan 1 Mid. And I believe this is track red. Yeah, track red. Yep, black igloo. So I guess that's what they're calling this kind of white, this igloo. Um, let me pull the other one out. So I don't wear a lot of Jordan 1 mids. Um, I like the lows, I like the highs. I do like the mid, but it has to be in the right colors, right? And they're ones I really like, the Mel Diasani. Uh, Jordan 1 mid is really cool. The blue version of this, I think it's really cool. Uh, but of all of them, this might be my favorite. This is the uh, Track Red, uh, which is, you know, it's kind of a brighter red than the University Red colors. And the thing I like about this is it has this very nice, like, nappy suede in the collar section and on the heel. And then the toe is done with a nylon, so it's a bit more of a beater um, than other uh, other sneakers that you might wear in this in this range or in this price range. This is this was also kind of nicknamed the like the budget unions for a while because it had that same color blocking of the gray and the red on the heel with a black with a black uh, mud guard around here. Uh, but in hand, you can really see that this gray kind of has a touch of green or or blue to it, I think it's green, uh, which is which is not the same gray as the Unions. Uh, I would say makes it very much its own sneaker. Uh, you guys wanna see an unboxing or, or a full review of this sneaker, I'll be glad to do it. Um, so yeah, this is the Jordan 1 Mid SE in the track red or like the, uh, the poor man's Union, budget Union colorway. Uh, so that's that. All right. Also in from our friends at my shopping box. Um, well, I didn't get this from them. It's something I ordered and came in via my shopping box. Uh, something I managed to pick up on on a discount in the U.S. And this is just a nice little hoodie from Chinatown Market. Classic Chinatown Market logo on the back and. Basketball smiley guy on the front. This is nice. It's a nice quality hoodie as well. Thank you, my shopping box, for making that that possible. All right, so we'll figure out how to style that and check that out later. And then last, we have a series of things to open up from our friends at uh, what's the name of this thing? <laughs> Let's open it up. <laughs> All right, it's from Kinto. That's it, Kinto, Philippines. So there's some here in the other box. Let's, let's start here with the with the open ones. So this is the slow coffee style Kinto Brewer, two cups. Uh, on the packaging, it has the instructions of what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to put in a filter. Um, it says that you use the. It looks like you use V60 filters in this thing, and it says Brewer two cups on it, huh? Okay, yeah, so yeah, you use a, use a V60 style filter. It, uh, it has some grooves in it and then a very big hole. Very big hole in the middle. Um, some, nice, uh, some nice ceramics uh, work with the, with the glazing and the dyeing. Um, not a big fan of the thing that says two cups of brewer. I think I'd rather that that said Kento on it. Um, yeah, this is a bit like when you watch those old Batman uh, TV shows and it says what everything is. I kind of feel like that's kind of what's going on there. Uh, so we'll try that out and look forward. We'll be testing and, and reviewing the Kinto Two Cups Brewer. Also for review will be the Kinto Faro. And I've actually been super interested about this product because we have a lot of people who ask about 
uh, brewing without filters or like they started, they wanted to use cloth filters and they realized that's difficult to do. They want a different option. And this is definitely an option because this uses its own metal basket, similar to a French press. And, you know, unlike a French press though, this has kind of the benefits of a, of a percolation uh, brew method versus the, the immersion that you're doing with a French press. So this is it, I guess. So it comes this little like diner cup style cup, and then the brewer itself sits on top. The brewer just has one small hole in it. And then this basket, it's kind of like a porta filter, serves as the filter. And it's very dense, like you can barely see it. You can barely see through it with the light. It's, I think it's maybe a couple layers of, of mesh, of metal mesh. And then that tiny hole at the bottom controlling your flow rate. So this will be interesting to play with and see. It fits nicely all together like that. Off the bat, the thing I'm really concerned about is that this is opaque. And if I'm brewing into this thing, how do I know that, I, that I'm not going to overflow my cup? That's my main concern. Um, but other than that, this looks super interesting. It's like a Japanese, uh, modern Vietnamese coffee brewer. So we will try that out. Also in the box from Kento, they have another brewer. This is the Coffee Jug set four cups and it looks like it's a boris silicate glass brewer okay so it comes with this also a metal cone filter that goes in the top let's take it out of the plastic what are these amateurs <laughs> all right so then it has this uh holder for it and then yeah. I'll put this down. All right, so it comes with this glass carafe. Okay. And this little dish thing. I don't know what that's for. Oh, I think it's when you're done brewing you can lift this whole thing and put it here. Yeah, so you brew like that, right? You brew like that, and then when you're done, you take the whole thing off and put it on the plastic thing. That makes sense, I guess. Um, there's a lot of funky writing on this thing. It feels like Japanese stationery, uh, which is cool. <laughs> um, all right, so that's the Kinto, what's it called? Slow coffee style. That's the actual name? No, coffee jug set, four cups with stainless steel filter. Very literal, very, very literal. Okay, and then last there's this, uh, this looks like a cold coffee brewer. Uh, again, it just said, uh, oh, there we go. Plug iced tea coffee jug, 1.2 liters. So let's open that up. And here we have the jug. Oh, that's nice. Not much to it. Yeah, basically it's like the, uh, I guess the Hario version. Hario makes something similar to this, and this is basically, you put the coffee uh, grounds into this middle thing, right? And then you fill that with water and you put the whole thing in there and you let it sit overnight and in the morning you have cold brew. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, whether it makes great cold brew, again, that's what it's here for, we are gonna find out. So let, do let us know what you would like to hear about first of all these things here. Um, we're probably not going to talk about the Chinatown Market hoodie again, but if you'd like to get the review on the, on the Jordan 1 mid, then let us know in the comments. And if you would like to know about any of these brewers, the Faro, the Two Cup, the glass thing with the plastic holders, or, or the, the cold brew, do let us know in the comments below. And do follow along on Instagram. We are at Honeycomb Manila on Instagram, at Daily Drink Mag, and at Ajima Mag on Instagram as well. And then finally, myself, at Keo Kosha on Instagram. Do follow. And if you're following Keo Kosha and Honeycomb Manila, comment below with your t-shirt size because we are doing a giveaway for t-shirts uh, 
as we get up to a thousand subscribers and thank you so much for watching wish you guys good luck wish you guys good health peace